I'm Casey Nelson and I studied in Seoul, South Korea in the fall of 2016. I'm Nicole. I studied abroad in Nagasaki, Japan, spring 2016. I'm Kevin. I studied abroad in Lima, Peru, 2014. Hi, I'm Zach. I studied abroad in Colombia in 2016. Hi, I'm Elizabeth. I studied abroad in Galway, Ireland in the summer of 2016. So hi, I'm Angela. I studied abroad in Newcastle, Australia in the spring and fall of 2015. All right, so slang. Um, I hear you Colombians have some weird stuff going oh on. I don't gosh. know, that's not Spanish. There, there are some awesome things going on in the Colombian slang. Me estas mamando gallo. So You're literally. What? Me estas mamando gallo. I have something like, about a chicken. Are, are you, you kidding are me? You are a chicken. Are, are you pulling my leg? Are you kidding me? It means like I'm looking, or you know, I'm looking a chicken. So you're literally licking a chicken. Yeah, but it's like, are you, are you kidding? Or like, I'm just Are you licking my chicken? Like, what's that? Te, te estoy mamando gallo. So. Estás bromeando. Yeah, I mean, but that's what the losers say. All right, what'd you learn? Um, not that. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly food. Like, when I got down there, I kept asking, like, I kept getting aguacate for breakfast, and my mama would serve it to me, and she'd be like, oh, esta aguacate, que rico, me gusta mucho, and she'd be like, no, 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 es, es palta. Que es palta? Palta es aguacate. Oh, oh, entiendo, interesante, you know? And nothing that I learned was like the, the textbook Spanish. You think everyone really is, like, obsessive about their grammar, but most of the things are, you know, este can replace a stock or something. It's porfa es como por favor. Yeah. Um, there yeah, are no. a lot of things that they just shorten it. Oh yeah, you know, like yeah. too lazy to say the whole word. Um, so did you like know much Japanese? I, mean, I didn't know any. Of I d well, did you learn any? Because I like didn't. Oh, learn I learned. <laughs> I learned like anyangaseru kamsanida, and like I just got in the habit like saying those words. Like so when I go to a convenience store. And I'm like, I know how to say all I give them the things. And there there was one time where uh, they like handed the bag back and I just assumed and they said something, but I just assumed it was just like, oh have a nice day. So I was just like, come somebody down and I started leaving and they yelled at me to come oh. back. And I'm like, yeah, th that actually happened a few times. So I'm just just because I was such in the habit of and leaving. Oh yeah, so my hardest part was my first get there, um, where I was was a rural, more rural area, so they didn't have any like English translations for like the bus stops or anything. So my whole time picks me out and she's like, show me the bus schedule. And she's like, this is your bus. So I take a picture to memorize it. And so I'm panicking. She's like, this is your, and then she rides a bus with me to tell me where my bus stop, like where I get off at to go to school. So I just panic the whole time because it's like you're illiterate in this country. And um, I could read hiragana and kata kind of not kanji. So like parts of the words, I could be like, oh, I recognize this or I don't recognize this. But that was one of the hardest parts for me. So in normal conversations, slang was just like a normal part of life in Australia. So when you're talking about, you know, whatever meal you were having, a lot of times it was brekkie or sometimes they even say like din din. Um, you know, when it came to food, there were certain, you know, words that they shortened. But the big thing was like uni for university. They would talk about um, like, yeah, I have uni classes, you know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or, you know, I'm taking a break from uni and I'm, you know, traveling. Um, they even came up with this weird slang word, word called bogan. So that's basically like anybody that's like kind of like a lower class that's like not as like proper and like a decent civilized person, I guess. Okay. Is the way they put it. Um, yeah, so in Ireland, instead of saying thank you, they said thanks a million or thanks a mil. Um, and then if they were complimenting someone, they'd be like, oh, that's gorge. They would use it for an inanimate object, for a human being, a dog. They'd be like, oh, that's gorge. For, short for gorgeous, and I was like, yeah. okay, or they'd say gorgeous. Um, another one was, that's grand. I was like, oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> I picked that one up, actually, and I actually said it to an airport um, yeah. customs officer while I was entering Ireland again. He's like, did she just? And I'm like, yep, <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oops. I was like, I'm just going to walk away, head down, blushing real hard.